Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to this weekly spirit message for the week of May 5th through the 11th, 2024. Just an amazing time. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, of course, it is springtime. And up here where I am in, in um, Upper Michigan, it is like full on spring right now, which is really early this year. I'm not complaining. So I just wanted, I, I've been really guided to talk about resilience right now because we are in this spring season. Yesterday was the astrological date of Beltane, which is the um, Celtic festival of fire and it's considered the beginning of the summer season and it's celebrating this life force this fire energy of just bursting forth in bloom and it really to me it represents kind of our our, our passion our purpose right when we are really living our purpose we live with that fire inside with that passion just blossoms out of us and so I just wanted to bring you into the garden and and show you some of this um, stuff this incredible life force bursting out and here's kind of an overview of um, my little permaculture area here. <laughs> it's I just started it a couple years ago, so it's still pretty young. Um, but take a look at some of these creatures here, these uh, plant creatures. I love the dandelions. I'm letting some of them go because they look, they are just so beautiful. And look how they just to celebrate life. Dandelions dig down deep into the soil and they're tenacious and then they come up in the spring and they're one of the first flowers to bloom in the spring and the bees love them because um, there's not a whole lot else right now and so just that tenaciousness and the vibrancy of the dandelion is something that I really look forward to every year. Um, we've got some other plants coming up in here as well. And I wanted to show you, uh, show you my raspberries because this is um, a little story about these raspberries. I had planted them, I think it was like two or three years ago, and planted a whole row of them, and only two of them survived. They didn't like it very much here, um, and I think it was there was a lot of bracken fern <laughs> maybe that was competing with them. So only two little raspberries survived, and I wasn't even sure they were going to make it. And then last year, a few of them came up. And then this year, they are all over the place. And you can see there's tiny little raspberry plants everywhere. In fact, I'm having to dig them out because they're starting to encroach on the rest of the garden. Um, but this is, this is really the power of the life force, right? And we all have it within us. We all have it within us. Um, this incredible life force it springs directly from source and we can all tap into that in so many ways but when we really start to tune into our calling here on the earth you know what we're here to do um, that's when you know this force starts to really live through us right and that's when we start to um, start to really bring it into the world through our actions, through our thoughts, our mind, our actions, and that's when we start to create things that bring that life force to bear in the world, and we see our own lives blossom, and we see the lives of those around us blossom. So this week, I really want to encourage you to kind of feel into your own life force, right? And because even if you're in a dark place, even if you're struggling with health issues, financial issues, whatever it is, that spark of source is within you. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your third eye. You can feel it down in your gut, right? Um, and when we consciously start tuning into that, that's when we can really start to transmute or turn around whatever dark energies we're working with or whatever feelings of lack. Just know that that spark of life is strong within you, right? You sprung right out of source. You're a direct child of the universe and a child of like that, that blinding beautiful light, right? That brings life to everything. And so you have that, we all have that at our, at our disposal. It's just a matter of consciously tuning into that and breathing into it and breathing life into it. Um, and um, sometimes like with those raspberries, it takes a while, right, to take hold. And it can feel discouraging if you've been 
maybe you have a dream, right? And uh, you've been maybe taking some steps towards it and it just things start to die. Well, that's sort of a natural part of the process sometimes where we make that decision or feel that calling. There's the, then all the doubts and the fears and all the resistance starts to crop up. And so we have to just remember that it does take time and that there is so much resilience within us. I think the key word here is resilience, that uh, the life force does prevail no matter what. If you've ever seen um, plants springing out of like the cracks in a, an old pavement parking lot, right, completely paved over, little things happen that the, the plants will sometimes just burst right out of that pavement and just a testimony to the power of the life force that we all have within us. And one of the beautiful things that we can do is use our intuition because that is kind of what shows us where, you know, what the next steps to take. I had the opportunity yesterday, um, there's a, a woman in my area that does vision boarding events and I went to one and it was such an amazing experience. I heard you, uh, that is one really fun way to tap into your intuition. It's uncanny what can pop up in a vision board. It's, it can be an, an amazing way to kind of kickstart that intuition and to assist in um, supporting that, that life force within us. All right, so I'm gonna pull a card today from my Spirit Animal Awareness deck to support us this week. And if you want a deck, I'm gonna leave the link below in the description box. And the card is Fox. This is the animal that's coming forward to support us discernment, shape-shifting magic. I think the word magic is coming out here. You know, fox um, has that kind of magical quality to it. It's an interesting animal because it is a dog family animal, but it's got the slit eyes like a cat. And so it has this sort of um, mysterious feel to it. And just know that the mystery and magic of life is here with us. And you can connect with fox um, to what fox is really good at is just kind of moving through in in a very stealthy sly quiet way and just you know sometimes you see it sometimes you don't um it's elusive and so is sometimes that feeling of joy or magic that we have um but once you know the fox is there then you can start to kind of suss out well you know where did i see it last and if i were a fox where would i show up right i'm feeling like Fox can connect us with that joy. Again, um, this is the festival of fire, right? Fox has that fiery coat and the passion within. If you really tune into your passion, um, tune into a musician and the way they just lose themselves in the music. We can do that in life. We can really just feel into that pulse of life that's within us and find you know, the musician will find the, the notes that are sweet, that are right on point. And we can do that too in life. Even if we're just in our kitchen making food, we can tune into, um, you know, anticipating the deliciousness of the food. <laughs> or, you know, tune into when you're getting dressed. Okay, what brings me joy, right? <laughs> A little Marie Kondo right there, but, but choosing the outfit, the color, that what, what color do I resonate with today? Those little things can help us stay in that flow. All right, so, um, and speaking of spirit animals, um, I'm doing an encore of my uh, three keys to the spirit animal wisdom. Um, that'll be this Thursday. Again, I will leave the link also in the description box. So check that out if you haven't, or if you did go to the first one, consider going again because it's always a little bit different. Um, loved having your energy there last week. I'm really looking forward to a repeat of, of that incredible connection that we had. And last week's, it was at the end, nobody wanted to leave because it was such beautiful energy that we had as a collective. So you're invited. It'll be this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. There is a replay if you can't make it. So sign up below and remember you were born to be free.